Okay, guys. Today we're going to look at my Bren. Um, it's the CZ805 S. Okay. And okay. I've not shot it at all, so this is going to be my first shot. And I'm using some military ammo. You know, it's the 62 grain um, green tips and some 55 grains. And I've just mounted one of my Somebody's inexpensive over, one to down. six scopes. It's a sniper is the brand. It is very right, cool. cheap, but it works great. What I like to do is um, shoot one round one at a round. time when I get a new gun. Uh, and I'll shoot one round and then I'll shoot two rounds and then I'll shoot five rounds just to make sure everything functions. I don't need anything running off on me, which I've had happen with a nine millimeter. Sorry about that, just got a text. So I'm shooting at 15 yards. Got to get everything adjusted. I ran, started the camera, I guess, a little bit early. And right about now, I'm going, ooh, that was pretty fun. So, I got locked back. I'm going to go ahead and load two up. And I just went out and bought those brand new Lancer magazines. I, got, I bought two of them. I just really like them. And I wanted some clear magazines. <clears throat> got logged back on that one too. So things are looking good. So now I'm going to do a full five, you know... 99% of the time I just shoot five rounds and then I'll reload um, because I'm you know shooting holes in paper so a group of five kind of gives me an idea of you know how something's shooting and it's kind of awkward at this gun range um, not really a good place to put the uh, put your elbows and really get some accurate shooting and I tend to sway a little bit but now I'm really liking it I've, I've done what would that be eight rounds at 15 yards and it's really feeling pretty good so keep getting text on how to shut that off so we're gonna look at this target here and like I said the scopes not sighted in yet I was aiming okay. for that center aiming here hitting here. target so I'll adjust for that and so I'll that just uh, like you know sight it in and with it. try to get things lined up but I'm pretty happy with that you know first shots out of the gun So, I believe I've already sighted it in, and I've taken a couple of shots. So now I'm going to, uh, I've sent it out to 25.5 yards, and I'm going to shoot at the target. I think target number two, because I think I've already shot at target number one. And the center one, I don't know if that's number five or whatever, but that's just always where I sight in. One thing that I've tried to be very wary of is that it's side charging and it's reciprocating. So, um, it's not my normal style shooting. So I gotta remember not to get my hands or thumbs in the way. So let's take a look at that target. And I know I pulled one um, and it was completely me. I felt it when I let it go. So 
so it's not too bad. It was just off to the right just a hair. But uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I was actually hoping to get a little bit better than that. So I'll shoot this other stuff. But yeah, I was trying to, hoping it would be a little bit better than that. So you'll see here in a minute, I really slow down and take my time. But this is new ammo and I did not sight in with this ammo. So this will be the first shots with the American Eagle 55 grain. At 25.5 yards. But I mean, the recoil on this gun is amazing. And I think I'm saying um, that the gun doesn't like it. I'm probably going to... I have a feeling I'm going to need some uh, 68 grains. Yeah, 77 grains or something. Yeah, I probably need to shoot some heavier ammo. It appears that it kind of slung them. I felt like I was holding pretty good, so... You know, that's probably two inches, inch and a half size group. <clears throat> so I'm going to give it another go. And this time I'm going to really hold as good as I can with the setup that I've got. I'm just sitting in a metal chair or something. I think it's just a regular chair and, and this stand ain't the greatest either. Nowhere to rest my elbows. I'm making up all kinds of excuses but I shoot a lot of guns out there so I know if it's shooting good or it should shoot a little better. But the trigger on this thing is amazing. The recoil is amazing. It just it's very smooth feeling. This gun is awesome. That brake really works good too. Right now I'm just trying to decide how many how much ammo I want to shoot because I'm having a good time. But I also want to, you know, just run it through the paces. So, I definitely pulled one here, if I remember right. No, nope, maybe not. No, this was actually a pretty good group. I got three in the center and two just in the number, whatever, ten or nine, whatever number that is. All right, so, so I was pretty happy with that. So, there's where I sighted in, um, right, right in the right center. There. And there's my first group. And that's the first group of five, second group of five with the 62 grainers. First group of five, second group of five. When I was really trying, I held down on it. And that's the 55 grain. So yeah, I'm starting to feel pretty good about it. <clears throat> and I feel like the 62 grains are shooting better. I just need to slow down and take my time. Back out at 25.5 yards. Yeah. It's called Sniper. It's a really cheap one, actually. Huh. Um, 
just what I had laying around. I just picked this so up. One of the I, I wanted range officers is asking me about the uh, scope. Range, so I threw that on there, but ooh, it works pretty good. <laughs> I was like, sure enough, somebody's going to come over and see that old cheap scope on there, but hey, it's a good scope, and I'm not going to knock it until it's not functioning right. For what I do at 25 yards, it works great. <clears throat> I tell you what, this is definitely a different type of shooting gun than an AR-15. Um, it's just really nice, and if you can afford it, I highly recommend something like this. I can see why people say this thing is better than a SCAR, even though I've never shot a SCAR. Um, it's just so silky smooth in the recoil. And I, I'm a big fan of side chargers. It's just I don't shoot a whole lot of them. Especially the reciprocating. So I've got a couple that I'm going to keep that are side charge reciprocating. And um, I'll start bad. figuring out how to hold things. Let's take a look at this target. Okay, here was the first one. So I believe that's the 55 grain. Because I was trying to shoot those on the left and then on the right, this is the 62 grain, I believe. Okay, I think the um, 62 is shooting a little better, so I'm going to do five more rounds of the 62. probably going to try <clears throat> some 77 grain or 68 grain. I may even start doing some reloads and see if I can't find one that's going to shoot real good out of this thing. I believe it's going to be a really good shooter. I've seen some good videos of guys, you know, getting sub MOA at 100 yards. So if I can get a good round on that, I'm just going to you know, stick with it and just use my cheap guns to shoot bulk ammo. So, this was a really nice shot of the group. That's probably half inch and it's 25 yards. But I pulled one and I felt like it was right on target. So, I have no idea why that one dropped. But when I saw that, I was pretty happy thinking, okay, it's probably just me. And that's one of the first groups that I shot. I didn't film it. There's the 55 grains. There's the 62 grains. Some more 55 grains. Or wait, no, that's the uh, 62 grains. That's the one I was just talking about that turned out to be a really good group. It could be less than half inch. I'm not sure if you and I'm saying half inch, assuming that the one that dropped. Group, but I had a flyer at the end, so I'm not sure. Doing a repeat or something. All right, I'm gonna shoot. Uh, All right, so now I've done the bench rest. It's time for me to stand up and shoot. And we'll just, um, you know, I shoot a lot of rifles and pistols standing, so. Figure I'll give it a go. 25.5 yards. Go with the uh, 62 grains. And I'm shooting at one of the targets that's already got five 
um, rounds in it. Uh, but I should be able to tell where my bullets are hidden. And right now I'm going, wow, this thing is awesome. It just feels really good. It's not braced, so I can really tell how the recoil is. Trigger's really nice. I'll say that again because it is. Right here. So there you go. Pretty much center. I think there were a couple um, already. already you know, there were five already there. So. so what happened on this one was I dropped one big time. Big? And I was, I basically Minus pulled the trigger too there. fast because it's a really we'll nice trigger. And, but and, um, for the most part, they're all in the center. So right around two inches minus the one I dropped. So now. You can see where those those were at. I'm going to shoot at that one, and we'll just try to group around it or on it or whatever. So I'm kind of shifting back a little bit. I tend to do that, but. The recoil is really not that bad. It's actually one of the softer shooting a bit to the left. rifles that I own now. So there you go. That's my, and I know I pulled that one. I'm pointing out, but that's pretty good. That's soda can. Soda can size or minute of squirrel or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. This time I marked them. Okay, so I've marked them now. So we'll be able to see where they're hidden. Should have done that at the beginning, but I didn't think about it. So we're going to give it a go with the 55 grains. <clears throat> See if, if they hold um, true when I'm standing. Surprise! <laughs> Forgot to take the tr safety off. So I think I pulled the second shot. Kind of went off a little bit early. And now these are the 55 grains, See, so that one right yeah, how it went off way high, but that's really good. I mean, I'm super happy with that standing, that you know, I just need to work awesome on trigger job. control if I'm being honest. It's probably an inch and a half minus the one that I slung out to the right. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna use the uh, American Eagle 55 grain. Well, maybe those were 62 grains. Um, 25 yards. Honestly, I can't remember. And I probably said it in the video. So I'll correct it if I need to. 
Otherwise, I'm not going to worry about it. But these are definitely the 55 grain. So there you go. One a little bit high. Seemed to be pulling just one on every thing. And I believe there's three touching the white on that uh, set. All of those are about a two, uh, two finger. So I got three. I'm going to call that one that's off to the left a little bit of bullseye because it hit the white. But that's it. Um... And that gun is awesome. I really like it. Those shot pretty much the best. And there's the one I didn't film, but that was a good group too. Three in the bottom and two in the top. <laughs>